In this video, we consider the language L, which is the set of strings, um, a description of M, where M is a Turing machine, and the size of the language of M is less than positive infinity, meaning that um, the language of M is finite. It's not infinite. So we're going to show that L is undecidable. Okay. We're going to use our standard technique of finding a decidable, undecidable language that reduces to L. Assuming that um, there is a decider for L, using the decider for L to decide the undecidable language, and then arriving at our contradiction that that decider cannot possibly exist, and therefore L must also be undecidable. We are going to do a reduction from ATM. And our idea here is going to be to construct another machine that we're going to feed to the decider for L. Um, and what is this machine going to do? It's going to um, simulate M on W. And if M accepts W, it's going to accept all strings, so sigma star. Um, this is an infinite language. So if M accepts W, this machine will have an infinite language. Um, if M does not accept W, then it's going to uh, not accept any input. So if M doesn't accept W, then its language is going to be empty. Um, and we know that the size of an empty language is zero, and zero is finite. So basically, this machine is going to have an infinite language if M accepts W. It's going to have a finite language if M does not accept W and then we can use our decider for L to determine which is it, right? So let's get started. Um, so we're going to suppose that D is a decider for L. We are going to construct a decider A for ATM as follows. Okay, what does A do? Okay, it's going to take input MW, where M is a Turing machine and W is a string. The first thing it's going to do is going to use the description of M and W to construct a new TM M prime, what does M prime do? Okay, M prime is gonna take any input X. Okay, we don't know what, what input it's gonna take, but it's any, any input X. First thing it's going to do is going to be to simulate M on W. If M accepts W, then it's going to accept whatever input it got. Okay, and that's actually all we need for that machine. So let's double check. Um, M prime, its language is going to be infinite. It's going to accept any string it gets if M accepts W. If M does not accept W, then it accepts nothing. Okay, we have no statement, no step here to accept um, the input unless M accepts W. So if M does not accept W, then its language is empty, has size zero. Okay, notice here again, I've said before, but um, we are not going to ever run M prime. Okay, we are just going to feed its description to a decider. Okay, so back out, so we're done with the description of M prime, we're back to the description of A, step two. What are we going to do? We are going to run the description of M prime. Okay, we're feeding the description of M prime into D. D is going to tell us if um, M prime's language is infinite or finite. So let's go back to our problem statement and remember that the strings that are accepted by D will have size less than infinity, so they will be finite. So D is going to accept finite 
languages, uh, machine descriptions whose languages are finite. It's going to reject machine descriptions whose languages are infinite. Okay, so if D accepts M prime, okay, remember the, that means um, that the language of M prime was finite, specifically in this case, zero. It accepted nothing. And when did it do that? It did that when um, M, did, M failed to accept W. So if M fails to accept W, we want to reject. So here, when I'm saying reject, I'm saying uh, our decider A for ATM should reject if M did not accept W. Um, otherwise, we're going to accept. Okay, the otherwise here, since D is a decider, means, um, so this is when D rejects M prime. Okay, so that's it. That's the description of our decider A. So let's double check that this does what we say it's going to do. So um, if A accepts MW, why would it do that? It would do that when D rejects description of M prime. When does that happen? That only happens when, uh, so let's go back here again. So D rejects M prime when the language of M prime um, is infinite. Okay, the language of M prime is infinite when M accepted W. Okay, so here we have that our decider is going to accept the string MW precisely when M accepts W. Okay, we need to show the rejection direction. So A is going to reject MW. When does that happen? It happens when D accepts M prime, which happens when the language of M prime is zero, which is um, specifically because zero is less than infinity, right? Its language is finite. And this happens when M does not W. Okay, so our decider accepts MW when M accepts W, and our decider rejects MW when M does not accept W. So this is a decider for ATM. We know ATM is undecidable, therefore um, the decider D for L cannot possibly exist, and therefore L must be undecidable.